Hello everyone. Today, you're going to learn how to troubleshoot device communication issues that result in a device no response message. More specifically, we'll discuss how to identify and correct issues that cause certain objects within the HMI project to disappear when the application is running on the HMI or during an online simulation. To begin, I have a simple project on display that was designed to allow my CMT FHDX to communicate with a Micrologix 1100. However, when monitoring this project using CMT Viewer, the HMI displayed a device no response message. This message can be both frustrating and confusing when it seems that the HMI can communicate with a PLC seemingly without issue. But this is in fact an accurate indication that a communication error exists within your project. Now before we switch any cables, reboot the HMI, or make any changes to our current project, I think it's important to review the PLC connection guide that was created for the driver that we're using within our application. To find this document, select the Home tab and click System Parameters. Within the system parameters, double click on the driver that you're using within your application and within the following menu select Open Device Connection Guide. This will open a PDF that contains a download link for our PLC connection guides as well as a link to our website near the bottom. During this demonstration, I'll select a link to our website which will open our PLC connection guide search utility. Here we can search for the manufacturer and model of the PLC that we are using within our application. Certain PLCs may have several different communication modes, so there may be more than one driver that can be used with your device. Within our application, I'm using the Rockwell Ethernet IP DF1 driver. I'll select this driver within the dialog and click on the PDF hyperlink shown below. The PLC connection guide will list each PLC supported by the selected driver. It also contains the recommended communication parameters, the supported addresses, information related to wiring, as well as any instructions that must be followed in order to achieve device communication. Within this specific PLC connection guide, we should note the following. The recommended port number is 44818, and within the PLC software, the port setting should be configured as shown. When using an Ethernet interface, the port number should be set by default to the port number that is recommended within the PLC connection guide. Within the system parameters, we can see that our driver has been configured with the appropriate port number. And within the PLC project, we can see that the correct port setting has been selected. So what might be causing this communication issue? To find out, let's consider the following. The HMI appears to display several objects that are addressed to and read from the PLC. This indicates that the HMI can communicate with certain registers in the PLC. The device no response message is only displayed on the trend window. This tells us that there is some object that is local to this window, like a bit lamp, that cannot communicate with a register in the PLC. If the device no response message is displayed on each window within your project, and certain objects that are addressed to the PLC continue to display accurate data, this indicates that there is some global object, like a macro, data transfer object, event alarm, or data sampling object that contains a tag or register that is not communicating with your device. Now whether you're just testing communication for the first time or you've used Easy Builder Pro in the past with the same PLC, I think it's always a great idea to test communication using a very small project. I usually recommend using a new project that contains only a numeric object and a bit lamp. The reason why it's important to use a small project is that a device no response message will display even if only one object fails to communicate with the PLC. By reducing the complexity of the project, you may be able to determine what object is causing the communication error and resolve the issue.
For our project, it may be more appropriate to make a copy and then slowly remove objects until the device no response message is no longer displayed. When the error is resolved, it is likely that the object responsible for the communication error is one that was recently removed. Now being that one of the numeric objects within my project is not displayed when I monitor my device using CMT Viewer, this indicates that this object cannot communicate with my PLC. So I'll remove this object first and then download this project to my HMI for testing. Within CMT Viewer, we can see that the communication error is resolved, which means that the numeric object addressed to N7105 was the source of my communication error. There are several reasons why this object may have caused a communication error. An incorrect data type may have been configured within the format tab of the numeric object. The data type should match the data type used by this register within the PLC project. Or you may be using the wrong register type for the device register that you intend to read. Certain drivers have special registers that may correct this issue. Please see the PLC connection guide for the driver used within your application and the user manual for your PLC for more information. The register may not be used or has not been made accessible within PLC memory. Or when using a tag based PLC, the tag name may have been changed within the PLC project. It's important that we carefully investigate each issue before we attempt to read or write to this register. However, in this scenario, the communication error occurred due to a typo within the address of the numeric object. The address should have been configured to N715. N7105 was not used within the PLC project. In rare situations, the cause of the communication error may not be as easy to spot. For example, if the HMI has a bad connection due to a faulty Ethernet or serial cable, or if the flow of packets is restricted due to an issue with a router or switch, the HMI may only display several objects at a time. When possible, we recommend that the HMI have a direct connection to the PLC. It is also possible that EMI noise may disrupt the HMI's ability to communicate with a PLC or external device. In this case, the issue may be resolved by using a shielded cable and a ferrite core if necessary. And that concludes this brief introduction to the device no response message. I hope that by following this tutorial, you were able to locate any objects that may have been causing communication errors within your project. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.